What's going on guys? Jimmy here with the General Expert channel here on YouTube and today we're installing this Wise Video Doorbell. Now if you know the channel, you'll know I'm no stranger to Wise products. You can see I have a Wise Outdoor Cam right there and right over here you can see I have the new Wise Floodlight which includes the Wise Cam V3. I have Wise Cams all over my house and property but the one place I don't is right here at my doorbell. Matter in fact, you can see I don't even have a doorbell and so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to install a video doorbell. And being that I already own like 10 other Wise cams, why not go back to Wise for their Wise video doorbell? Well, let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. Quick start guide. And you can see within this plastic, we have the Wise video doorbell, we have a chime, as well as a few other things to help with the install. It also comes with this wedge. If by chance you don't want the video doorbell to lay flat, by installing the wedge, you can see that it'll angle the doorbell more towards the person standing at your door. For the install, there's one thing you have to make sure of. You need to make sure you have at least 16 to 24 volts at the wires right here for your doorbell. In my case, I have 17.67, so that's perfect. And that brings up a critical point. My house was built 30 years ago and the doorbell transformer was very old as well. I was only getting about 14 volts here at the doorbell wires. So what I had to do was pick up a new doorbell transformer that was this 16 volt transformer. That is an extra $20 you're gonna have to spend aside from the $56 I spent on the Wise video doorbell at Home Depot, but that's the only way it's gonna work, so you're gonna have to do it. And the other part of that is it makes this whole install a little more difficult. I had to get up into the chime box and remove the old transformer and install the new one. And that could be a bit scary for some people because you are dealing with high voltage in that situation. So of course, I made sure all the power was off. I turned it off at the breaker box and used various methods to make sure I had zero power at the transformer. Once I was certain there was no power, it was a pretty straightforward process to remove the old transformer and reinstall the new one. I simply copied the wiring from the old transformer into the new one. And since we're talking about wiring and high voltage here, I wanna put a disclaimer out there. I am not a professional electrician. I'm just a DIYer, just like many of you. Do not take my advice. Go to a professional, do your own due diligence. So after I got that new transformer installed, I checked the power here, and as you just saw, I have over 17 volts, which is perfect for this Wise Video Doorbell. The only other thing you have to do at that chime box in the house is install the fuse wire, and you're gonna have to go into the Wise app to read the directions on exactly how to do that. It's not too difficult, but there are a few different ways that your chime box could be wired. For example, if you only have one doorbell here at the front of the house, it's probably gonna be a lot easier than mine was because I have a doorbell here at the front of the house and at the rear of the house. So I basically just have one extra wire and it just took a little extra testing to make sure I was using the correct front doorbell wire. So just make sure you go to the Wise app. It tells you exactly how to wire the thing up. Regardless of your wiring situation, whether you have one doorbell or two doorbells, it gives you pretty clear and concise instructions. With the wiring talk out of the way, we can discuss mounting. In my situation, I have these bricks right here next to where the doorbell would be. And so being that I don't want the view of the Wise cam to be blocked by the bricks, I'm going to definitely use the wedge. Now you can see with the wise cam kicked out just a little, I'll have a much better view of who's at my front door. Okay, the install of the Wise doorbell is complete from the outside, and that wedge was definitely needed. With the wedge in place, the doorbell is pointed directly at me as I walk up to the door. Now I'll switch the breaker back on, and everything seems to be hooked up correctly. You can hear it saying ready to connect and the bell light is flashing. Okay, we're being completely recorded by the Wise Video Doorbell. You can see the field of view is really tall and a little bit less wide. So this gives you the ability for someone like me who's six foot three, you can, you can see way up above my head, and if I'm standing really close to the door, you can see exactly who is at the door. You'd be able to see the ground if there was a package that was left here, and especially if I was to come up and press the doorbell, you're gonna see exactly who it is that's pressing the doorbell. So one thing that I really like with the Wise Video Doorbell is that you have this four by three taller view. Rather than the typical widescreen view, what's ideal is a more taller view because people are tall and you wanna see the person 
especially very close to the doorbell. So this is really good. It's actually better than I thought it would be. And uh, based on what I'm seeing here on my phone, I'm pretty happy. All right, everything is hooked up and it looks like we are good to go. This Wise Video doorbell was pretty easy to install. There was definitely some extra hoops I had to jump through, especially since I had to install a new doorbell transformer to get the correct power. Other than that, the process was pretty straightforward and the directions given by the Wise app were pretty good. And this Wise doorbell did come with a chime. I have mine installed right here by the front door and this is what it sounds like. Inside the app when viewing the doorbell screen, click settings. Then we come down to accessories, which will give us the wise chime. Then we can come to tunes and I'm going to go through these quickly so you can hear what each one sounds like. And then there's an intruder alarm. So that right there is all of the sounds of the Wise chime. All right, and aside from the many benefits you get with the Wise doorbell, for me, the one reason why I think this thing is so awesome is simply the field of view that they give you. It is a four by three field of view, which means it's taller than it is wide. Not only that, it is an extremely wide angle lens. So even though it is taller than it is wide, you still get a wide field of view and you especially get an extremely tall field of view. This means that you can capture from the very top of someone's head all the way down to their feet, just like the video you saw of me. And for that feature alone, I am very happy with this purchase. But as we all know, only time will tell how this thing actually works out. So there'll definitely be an update video in the very near future. I now have a plethora of Wise products around my house and property. And this latest one, the Wise Video Doorbell, seems like it was a great addition to the group. So far, I'm really liking that extreme vertical view. That way, anyone who walks up, you're really gonna get to see exactly who it is all the way head to toe. And if there's a package left by your front door, you'll be able to see that too. Overall, the setup, I would say it was pretty good. I mean, I don't know how much more easy it could possibly be. I guess you could get lucky and not have to install a new transformer, but that wasn't that big of a deal. I've had some experience in that regard, but just make sure if you have to deal with high voltage by installing a new transformer, please hire a professional. All right, guys, well, I'm Jimmy for the General Expert channel here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already.